What's up everybody, this is G-Sticks coming at you from Control Media with some more Far Cry gameplay. Uh, <clears throat> I'm taking down some more outposts in this video. However, uh, I decided to put this video together because I wanted to show you guys what it's like when you approach an outpost in a certain way or tactic and things go wrong. And the idea here is when you move along in Far Cry, <clears throat> you have this one guy who just is pretty much a one-man army, and you got to make sure you have the full spectrum of artillery at your disposal. So I'm using my bow here because, well, to be honest, I think it's the best weapon in the game. It's so much fun. It's so satisfying getting the kills with it, and... Um, when you get the quiver bow with the um, with the little reticle here, it makes uh, it makes this game a lot of fun. You have your explosive arrows, you have your flame arrows, and then you have your normal arrows. And uh, and when you upgrade your quiver, you can carry up to 30, 50 arrows at a time, and it's just like I don't know. It's really OP for me if you get good at it, because most of the time it's one hit kills, silent. Uh, you can get your arrows back. Um, it's a lot of fun. So anyway, I just killed that one guy. And here I am. I'm looking for the alarms. I'm moving through silently, crouched with my bow. And um, next thing you know, this guy sees the body. I was not expecting that. I should have moved the body. Uh, but I also didn't think that anybody would see it where it was. So let's see what happens. This is sort of strange. I thought I hit that guy through the fence, so I'd try hitting him again. But, uh, it's to no avail. So more and more guys are coming. I realize don't really stand a chance with the bow. Break out the assault rifle. I always thought the lighting looked really cool here. This game's graphics are just <laughs> so vivid and so so nice. Everything is exactly what you would expect it to look like. So this is a me easy to medium outpost. Um, it's not too far into the game. It, it, it's a little. It's a little farther on. This is pretty funny. I didn't expect to hit that guy with an explosive arrow. Um, but uh, it's not. It's not a huge outpost. It's not too difficult. Just a, only a number of guys. Uh, and the only problem arises when you. Uh, you know when they call in the reinforcements. They raise the alarm and they call in the reinforcements. That can get annoying. So I highly recommend going for the alarms whenever you take down an outpost. If you get the alarms, it's a much more uh, stress-free stress -free sort of uh, situation. If you take out the alarms, no one's going to be calling for backup and you just have to deal with the guys that are there. So the outpost isn't liberated yet, there's one guy left, I finally find him, send an air out him, miss, and then send one into his gut and I get him. So moving along, this is a hard outpost later in the game in the north. If you're playing the game, you'd understand that the the map is divided into the south and the north. You have to eventually you unlock the north, and once you get into the north, the enemies are more difficult. They have more armor. The uh, <coughs> there's guard dog. There's well, there's guard dogs throughout the game, but these outposts now they're a lot bigger. They have guard dogs. They have two alarms, two maybe even three. Um, so you got to be careful. You got to really survey the area. You got to tag as many guys as you can, uh, and you got to be you got to be pretty tactical about it. You have to be careful. So right now I'm trying to get a good look at the uh, alarm box and the alarms, but uh, can't see it there. I'm trying to get a better vantage point. Nothing. 
nothing. See, I'm not taking any guys out yet because uh, I don't want any bodies anywhere where I can't get to them and move them as to not alert the other the other guys. take this guy out and he falls into the shadows under this overhang feel pretty safe about that no one's around to see him so I move along I'm not sure why here I thought uh, I could jump on top of this So one thing I recommend while you're taking down an outpost is um, always be looking for alternative uh, routes and little, um, you know, on the in the later on outposts, the harder ones, there's underground tunnels that you can use. There's different ways to go about taking down the outposts. And uh, so like you just saw there, there was a breakaway window. Get through there and I could go through the house without having to worry about anybody seeing me. All right, so there's a couple ways to take that uh, to take out the alarms. You can shoot them with a sniper, or a bow, or if you get close enough, you can disable them. This guy came out of nowhere here. Take him out, but the dog sees him. Let's move to cover a little bit. Take the dog out. Felt pretty happy about that. That I took the dog out and the guy out behind the fence there. Don't even need to worry about their bodies. I see the alarm again, but no view of the alarm box. What is making that noise? This guy hears me. Besides just a little throwing knife action. I highly recommend using and getting good with the throwing knives. It's like a one hit kill. You can pick them up again and you can take your guys out from kind of far without having to like, you know, knock an arrow. So I'm about to take out the box here. I shoot the guy but I miss and he raises the alarm. I got so upset. But anyway, shit just kind of goes down here for a little bit. Some dogs coming at me. The throwing knives are not effective against angry dogs, but using the sawed-off shotgun as a sidearm, I highly recommend. It's really nice. We are coming in from the west. You know how to use that gun? See the trucks coming. Switch to explosive arrows. Boom. Boom, and one more, boom. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the videos. Um, they were a lot of fun to make, and I uh, hope they were informative. Subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. Thanks guys.